Hey guys, my name is David and you are watching Stories Told. Today, I am going to explain a crime, thriller movie, called Burn. Please be aware, the video contains spoilers. The movie starts out with Melinda pulling up to a gas station. She gets out of her car for a smoke, then approaches a man who is filling up his car. He's smoking a cigarette and Melinda warns him about the dangers of smoking near the fuel pumps. The man doesn't really care about this, despite the large no smoking sign in the background. She assures the man that there's no problem with smoking itself, rather than the place he decided to have one. The man flips and yells at Melinda, that he is not an idiot and he is very cautious with his cigarette. She then leaves the man and enters the gas station. Sheila, the cashier, tells her that she needs to restock and clean the toilets as well, because Diane forgot to do it. She agrees to do it, and quickly changes to her work clothes. While restocking, she approaches a customer who is browsing through the snacks. She tells him that the pistachios are really good and she offers him a refund if he doesn't like it. She tells him her name, but the man seems rather uninterested in her. While cleaning the toilets, we can see that Melinda is looking at candid photos of a cop in the gas station. A man walks in and scolds Melinda that this is the men's room and he can't use it while she is in there. Sheila is watching a video where sophisticated ladies perform twerk. She baits Melinda into doing an absolutely cringe twerk, but she secretly records it and puts it on the internet. All the while a suspicious man pulls up to the gas station. An elderly man walks in and he asks for Sheila at the cash register. He says that his name is Fred and they talked two days ago. Sheila was complaining about her feet hurting, so Fred got her some padded insoles. Melinda accepts the gift for her but Sheila doesn't want it. She's saying that he is there every night and she doesn't want anything between the two of them. Fred walks off disappointed, but Melinda stops him on his way to his car. She says that the insoles fit her perfectly to try to cheer the man up. The suspicious man that pulled in earlier gets out of his car and hides his revolver in the back of his pants. His name is Billy. Melinda introduces herself to him, and he asks if there's anyone else working in the store. He asks for cigarettes and a police car shows up. The cop who Melinda stalked earlier gets out of the car. They seem to know each other. Billy's tensely watching the cop from inside. He catches the eye of Sheila who walks up to him and asks if he needs any help. He says that he is looking through condoms, Sheila remarks that he has been doing it for five minutes, so she helps him choose the condoms. Outside, Melinda asks Officer Lou to take her on a ride with his new cop car. He turns down her request because of his strict schedule. She jokes about getting arrested purposefully so he could take her in as a part of his job. He then promises to take her on a ride later and goes in to get a coffee. Billy goes to the bathroom while Officer Lou is at the cash register. He jokes about sex-enhancing tablets that were on the counter. Sheila then notices Melinda, who is taking pictures of the officer again, and yells at her. She drops her phone. Officer Lou sues her that he has broken his phone as well. He gets a call and leaves immediately. Sheila then shames Melinda for taking candid photos of people and tells her that she is a creep. Melinda goes out for a cigarette. She's on a verge of tears. When she walks back in, she finds herself on the other end of Billy's revolver. He orders her to stand next to Sheila and states that he's not there to hurt anybody. He starts to explain why he needs the money, that people are after him and want to kill him. Sheila is tired of him talking and asks him to hurry up with the robbery. He demands all the money from both the registers and the safe room. Sheila tells him that they don't have access to the safe room, only the managers do. In the cash register, there's less than $100 because people don't pay with cash anymore. She asks if that's even a real gun. This annoys Billy to the point where he fires his gun. Melinda asks if the money's gonna be enough for Billy to pay off his debt to the bikers. She decides to help him out, and get all the money from the safe. While she is packing the money, two customer walks in. He asks Sheila to remain calm and don't make a scene. Melinda looks in the mirror, and unbuttons her shirt to appeal to Billy. The tension gets higher as she cannot give change to the customer. Billy's anxiously watching the situation behind the shelves. The guy asks for directions and Sheila writes him a paper. She also writes down to call 911 for help. As she tries to hand the note to the guy, Melinda appears out of nowhere and creases the paper. Once they finally left, Billy walks to the counter asking for the bag. Melinda is hesitant to give him the money, and asks him where is he headed after all this. She wants to go with him. Billy doesn't really want to take her and they start to argue over the money. He gets physical with Melinda, ultimately taking the backpack. Sheila calls him out for being a coward, and bullying two women with a gun. Billy loses his temper and drags Sheila out from behind the counter. He orders Melinda to lock the doors and give him her phone. They go to one of the back rooms while Melinda walks to the front disappointedly. 
She buttons her shirt back. She grabs the hot coffee and pours it on her hand without a blink of an eye. She walks to the back room and pours it all over Billy's face. She then knocks him out with a fire extinguisher. While falling, Billy pulled the trigger, accidentally killing Sheila. When Billy wakes up, he notices that Melinda cleaned up and wrapped the body of Sheila in a tarp. He states that he had no intentions to kill anybody, but when he tries to stand up, he notices that he is tied to a chair. She sits in front of him calmly, without saying a word. She questions why he didn't take her. Billy explains that the whole situation is just crazy. Melinda hasn't called the cops, as she's unsure of her plans. He explains that they are accomplices and tries to convince her to untie him. She explains that they were on the same team from the start. Billy tries to convince her that he didn't believe her at the first time. He asks her whether she is unhappy with her life, because she is working at a gas station. Then Melinda starts to tell a manifesto about the social benefits of gas station. Billy says that his face really hurts. She grabs some painkillers from the front, while in the background, we hear an angry customer is trying to get inside the gas station. They talk about the plan of getting out together when Melinda tells Billy that she has a boyfriend. He seems shocked about this. She feeds Billy more painkillers. He figures out that she fed him sexual enhancers instead of the painkillers he asked for. Then Melinda explains that she knows he is lying to her and he wouldn't leave with her. She blindfolds him and tries to rape him. Somehow he breaks free, and knocks himself out running into the shelf. Melinda walks out with the money, she seems disorientated. She finally lets in the guy who was banging on the door earlier. He complains about the lack of coffee. She aims the gun at her head without the guy noticing it, but quickly changing her mind she puts the gun down. She bursts into tears and tells the guy to leave her alone. She calls 911, but Perry, Sheila's boyfriend walks in. He asks for Sheila but Melinda says that she already left. He tries calling her phone and he can hear it buzzing on the ground. He becomes suspicious of the whole situation, because his girlfriend can't go two minutes without her phone. Melinda tells him that Sheila left with a guy to a motel. He somehow believes her obvious lie and leaves for the nearest motel. Trying to hide her clues, she runs outside and grabs a shovel, but the bike gang pulls up to the gas station. They ask questions if anything happened that night. They describe Billy and ask whether he was around or not. Melinda asks if they do illegal things, such as getting rid of dead bodies. They are really persistent about going in. She pulls a gun on them, and they also pull a gun on her. Their boss orders them to put the guns down as there are cameras everywhere. He says that they're gonna take a look around for their so-called friend, and if they don't find him, they will surely come back. Once they left she walks back in trying to break the lock to erase the camera footage. Being unsuccessful with her efforts she goes out for a cigarette. This gives her the brilliant idea to burn the whole place down. She fills up two canisters and brings it back to the counter. As she's getting ready to pour the gasoline all over the place, Officer Lou walks in with his gun pointing at her. He asks if she's seen anybody suspicious. He explains that Billy's car is a stolen one, the one that he's been looking for. The keys are still in the ignition so the driver must be nearby. He wants to check the tapes. Melinda tells her that only Diane has the keys to the tapes so he decides to call her. While he is on the phone she slips the revolver into her pockets. Melinda then explains that she in fact saw a suspicious man. She tells him that the man she saw left for the motel in a green jeep. Before leaving, Officer Lou wants to do a quick sweep of the store. Melinda becomes really frustrated, almost crying. He checks every room in the back and finds everything in order. Melinda being very surprised by this quickly hides the gun which he pointed at the officer earlier. He gives her his phone number and leaves to check out the motel. Melinda checks the back room as well. She finds the room empty and the cable ties, which she used to tie Billy up, on the floor. She then proceeds with her plan on burning down the gas station. She hears some strange thudding from the back and the lights go out. She can't go out in the front because the photo cell door isn't working. Billy's back in the store yelling at Melinda. She warns him about the gasoline on the floor, threatening to burn the whole place down. Perry pulls up, banging on the front door to let him in. She tries to escape in the back, but Billy already left there and blocked the exit with a dumpster. Billy goes to the front telling Perry that Melinda went crazy and she killed Sheila. While he is questioning Melinda, Billy tackles him from behind and kills him. He then takes Perry's van. She calls Officer Lou, but Billy breaks the front entrance with the van. She tries to apologize to Billy but he seeks revenge and he pulls the trigger. The gun was previously dropped in gasoline, so it lights on fire. He drops the gun which ignites the gasoline on the floor as well. 
Melinda escapes but she burns her legs on the way out. The police arrive and Officer Lou escorts her to safety. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.